So this is The Wandering Island, which is a project on Calgary Milkinsis, uh, where artists were invited into the space to create certain bespoke infrastructural adaptations to the environment. We asked each duo to create their ideal place to sit together next to the Elbow River. And so you'll see them very much reflected in their own work. We just thought it was a pretty rad opportunity, especially connecting to some kind of uh, landscape, some kind of like natural space. It just felt so encouraging to have somebody believe in what you can create together. Mm -hmm. Something that I'm really interested in, not making things too um, concept heavy that the public can't easily access it. If it's too intimidating, I don't think people often give themselves permission. We tried to make them really inviting. And they're kind of like just based off um, beach loungers that a lot of people like or a lot of people's parents or grandparents had. So we were just thinking of like a bit of like nostalgic romance around being in the backyard or hanging out with the family and spending quality time in those chairs that we're all fairly familiar with. Yeah, and you know how you're meant to engage with it. Yeah. There's a precedence for what you're supposed to do. I think having the benches look a bit more like benches. You yeah. can just like sit back and connect with the space. Hopefully they'll be quietly beautiful enough that they're compelling as objects on their own, but um, like not all of the attention and focus is on the benches themselves. And it's still whimsical, I think, like having beach loungers in Calgary. We've milled out um, this kind of rabbit in the slat so that they're sitting on this ledger in the bench and they're recessed a little bit so that when you're looking at it, it makes the slats um, look to be only be about a half inch thick, and that'll help kind of give it a lighter, um, a lighter feel to the to the design. But that it's actually very sturdy. In a way, the idea of slowing down was really important, and to create an invitation to slow down. I love the idea of a permission slip where you can offer it to the participant a permission slip to experience something in a different way. Yeah. You know, as opposed to like maybe an active chair that you would be using at your desk or something, these ones are more receptive or passive. So then if you're in a passive state, maybe you can receive more or listen to nature, pay attention to what's going on around you. There aren't that many spaces that you're able to do that and take a nap and feel the sunshine on you and mm -hmm. yeah. There was like this instant kind of kickback from, from the city about these stories being like an invitation to, uh, for the wrong sort of invitation for people to like sleep in public space or for like um, people without homes to like come and, and stay too long. The real spot, I, I want people to rest and like relax and have a nap. Like, absolutely. That's what they're. Yeah, it's an invitation to shift, yeah, yeah, from like busy to resting. And I don't know why there would necessarily be a hierarchy of people who get to do that. We had some great support with our, our team who helped give examples of other benches in the city. We know that there is a precedence in the city of Calgary with benches that you are able to lay down on. And, but luckily in the end the city did approve the, the full reclining design. Yeah, and I think that was really important to us aesthetically and conceptually that that was the whole idea was to rest. And I think culturally we're very like, you know, yeah, that like direct focus, arrive at the finish. If you're hiking, it's get to the top, finish your work day as soon as you can. But like, yeah, if you can expand out a little bit, I think there's a lot that 
It really like enriches our experiences. Oh, and we even notice it like just going to have lunch by the river or the creek here in town and um, just kind of sitting down and being quiet. And then all of a sudden, like all of these birds that you had kind of spooked away when you first walked into the space are coming back. That's such an awesome thing to be able to witness, you know, to be able to notice these, these creatures like existing beside you. So maybe that's where these chairs come back into it too, is moments of appreciation for like everything that's going on around you rather than just rushing through it.